I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is so good to be with you today. It is a brand new day that God has given us, and we will rejoice. We will be glad in it. We will live to the fullest. We will not take no for an answer, but we will press on and we will receive the prize. I tell you, my dear friend, good things come to those who never give up. Good things come to those who determine themselves. They press on. They push on and they refuse to give up. They say they will not give up until they receive their miracle, and they do. And as you purpose to do the same thing, my dear friend, in all that you do, you will go far in life. As you purpose that you will not give up, as you decide that you're gonna keep on going and you're gonna live to the fullest, whether the devil likes it or not, you will go far in life, my dear friend. Now, I wanna speak to you about something that is so important, and I truly believe we need to speak about it because I've seen people doing certain things and I trust and believe that if they apply this in their life, they can go further. Now, what I want to speak about is being a man or a woman of conviction. So if you're a man who's watching this, be a man of conviction. If you're a woman who's watching this, be a woman who is a woman of conviction. Now, born again believers are natural born leaders. And being a leader, you need to be a person of conviction. You can see when a leader is not convicted about what they're leading other people to do. In all that you do, my dear friend, be convicted, have purpose, have a vision that you are completely sold out to. Seek God. If you don't have a vision yet, if you are not yet tuned in to the voice of the Holy Spirit, seek God. Understand what is God saying that you must do and when is He saying you must do it and become sold out to that, my dear friend. Become convicted about it. Become so convicted that you follow it and you believe it with all of your heart. I tell you, my dear friend, when you follow God, God opens up the way. And when you purpose in your heart that you will go without turning back, without giving up, you will go and you will be sold out completely to what God has called you to do. You will go far in life. Now, I want to pray for you, my dear friend, that you will be convicted in whatever God has sent you to do. That you will be a person, a man or a woman of conviction. Wherever you're watching, I trust, I believe the grace of God will touch you and God's going to take you up in life. God is going to take you to a far place even as you put your trust in Him and you become a person of conviction. Now, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. I'm going to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. But we're going to begin with some praise. And as the presence of God comes in the place, then we'll begin to pray and God will do what only He can do. So in saying that, my dear friend, take yourself and your device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, you are our God and we praise you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that is released to us today. It is a brand new day that you've given us. It is a brand new day to live to the fullest. And it's still early in the week. We can, we can press on and we can finish what you have for us for this week. We thank you for your conviction, the conviction of your Holy Spirit within our hearts. And even as we go on and we become people who are sold out to what you've told us to do, we thank you and we give you praise that we will go far in life. We will not be held back by anything or anyone. No enemy will hold us back. The more the devil tries to push us down, the more we will go up because of your grace that is a portion to our lives, because of your mercy that is with us, because of your kindness that surrounds us, because of your love that never runs out, your love that is not going anywhere. Before we were even born, you loved us. You loved us before we even knew that there was a God. We give you praise and we thank you for this in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God. I know like I know God is in this place. We serve such a good God. He's a gracious God. He's a merciful God. And as you press on daily, you will see God's goodness. We have received testimonies from so many people around the world and it is so amazing. I tell you, Jesus is moving and is changing people's lives. It is Jesus who is doing all these things. I don't do any miracles. It is Jesus who does them. And let him receive all the praise for that in the name of Jesus. We serve such a good God and I trust and believe he's going to do what only he can do even as we pray today. 
So without any further delay, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Now, as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is just lift up your hands and just welcome the Holy Spirit in that place. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. I welcome you in this place where I'm watching. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, come and touch me. Take me closer to Jesus. Help me to be a person of conviction. Convict me into the way that I should go. Lead me and guide me. As a natural born leader, let me become a leader of conviction. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is, let your power, your grace, your anointing just begin to touch my dear friend. Let the power of your Holy Spirit just overshadow and surround my dear friend right now. Let the power that is available in Christ the deliverance working power, the salvation power, the miracle working power. Let it just surround my dear friend. Begin to do what only you can do, O oh God. In whatever situation my dear friend finds themselves, begin to intervene and change the situation for the better. I thank you for your grace that never runs out on us. I thank you for your grace that enables us. I thank you for your grace that fills the gap. Wherever there's any gap, Wherever there's any divine enablement that's needed, wherever there's any covering that's needed, let your grace fill the gap right now, Lord. And Lord, I pray, begin to change, my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend wasn't a person of conviction, begin to change them. Let them become a person of conviction. Let my dear friend, your dear son, become a person, a man of conviction. Let my dear friend, your dear daughter, become a woman of conviction. I pray this in Jesus' name. And even as that happens, Raise my dear friend up to a greater glory as a leader. A leader not only in the environment but all around the world. In whatever area that you've called them to be. In whatever area that you've called your son. In whatever area that you've called your daughter. I thank you for your call. You have a divine purpose and a call for each and every one of us. And we trust and believe even as we follow you and we follow your call. With conviction, we will go far and we will never give up. Lord, release the grace. Release a tenacity and a boldness over my dear friend that my dear friend will never give up until my dear friend receives their prize. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.